Lads. 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 2K. Why? 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 Why troll us, man? I'd rather get nothing than this troll. I'd rather get nothing than this troll as they're continuing. They are continuing to troll us through season 8, man. It's going to be a season 9, thankfully. But they are continuing, and I repeat, they are continuing to troll us this season. So, lads. Lads. Let's look at what they put in the token market. 750 tokens. I just realized I'm too big right here. 750 tokens. I repeat, 750 tokens. For a bunch of cards where one, and I repeat, one of them is worth anything. Of all of these cards, there is a grand total of one that is worth more than 15k. One! And you want to spend 750 tokens on it? Like, Bill Russell's still about 300k. Yeah, whatever. Like, are we even seeing, did we even see LeBron James, who goes for nothing? Jordan goes for nothing. Who actually goes for money? Does Duncan go for anything now? No. Is it literally just Bill Russell? Yeah, it appears just to be Bill Russell. Man, I did not realize Bill Russell is literally the only expensive hero card now. Obviously, like, Wilt's not worth anything anymore because end games are so cheap, but still. So, yeah, Bill Russell is the only, uh, and Robert Ori's worth something anyway, I guess. Still, though. Still, though, if you're looking at 750 tokens, you can get, I'd say the average is about, like, 15k per player. Because I know that Hakeem's less than 10k. I know that from these packs here, Garnett is, like, 15k. Wade is less than 10k. Hakeem's less than 10k. Steph is, like, 10k. Powell's less than 10k. And, well, or Ori and Bill Russell are not cheap. So, unless you get Bill Russell, you have got sweet FA. You have got absolutely sweet FA unless you are getting Bill Russell. And you know the easiest way is to make MT from your tokens? Still to this day, this. You go and just get gold badges and discard the gold badges. So if you have 10 tokens, you're making 1,000 MT out of that. If you've got 100 tokens, you're making 10K. So basically, you're highly likely to make more MT with 150 tokens than with this 750. As well as that, NBA 75th. 300 tokens for an Opal. 300 tokens. Dolph Shays, 5k. Robert Parrish, 5k. Hakeem, 5k. Baylor, 5k. Walt Frazier, 5k. Wilt, 5k. Pete Maravich, 5k. Like these... Like why? Why 300? 150. You might be saying, oh, but like normal pink diamonds are 150. Young ones. Nobody gets any of these cards here. Amethyst for 30 tokens. All discard advice. 30 tokens for 1k MT. None of these diamonds are worth anything. And like you're acting like, oh, this is some like crazy thing. NBA 75th. The NBA 75th set finished in March. I repeat, the NBA 75th set finished in March. There's one of these cards that's even usable nowadays. And it is SETI. The fact we didn't get another Cedric Maxwell card is nuts this year. What's that Magic Johnson? I assume he's cheap, is he? Magic's extinct. Oh my god. You can't even get Cedric Maxwell because Magic Johnson's extinct. I mean... There's a 1% chance of getting him through those 150 tokens as well. But like... Why could they have not just said 750 tokens for a, an endgame pack? Like... You do realize that that wouldn't be a big deal at all because, well, they're 25,000 VC. Honestly, 750 tokens should be a damn endgame deluxe box. But instead, we get a card from May. Like, what are we doing here now? Lads, what are we doing? Like, this is August. I get it. It's August. It's the end. Like, we're getting a little, probably getting a little bit of content. And you might be, like, literally, I wouldn't be surprised if they ever saying, oh, we gave them some content. Like, what is this like? Like, these cards here, wow, we get cards from December that go for 1,000 MT. We get cards from, oh, okay, maybe January. Maybe January. George Mike in freaking November. 
Like, sure, if you went and pulled yourself um, David Robinson, sure, that would have been great for 150 tokens in November. Literally, we are. Bo it is more than six months ago. Like, these cards are so old that m the vast majority of these cards came out when I was still living with my parents. I moved out in December. Like, it, this is bad, man. This is just bad. Does it make that much of a difference? No, is it a troll? Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to open one of these. If I get Bill Russell, just give me, give me Bill Russell. Anyone else, and it's a disaster. Anyone else, and it's a disaster. As soon as I don't see center, I'm going to be like, oh, crap. Ah, of course. Of course. Just to troll me even more. Just to troll me even more. Can't even see the walk out. You're just going to troll me even more with that. It is very annoying. Thank God this is documentary day. Thank God this is documentary day. About six, seven, six, seven hours till the documentary comes out. Maybe a little bit longer, depending on how long it takes to render. But like... Of course we get 9,000 MD Keem. Everyone's got a Keem. I've seen from like five people getting these. And like four of the five have gotten Hakeem. We've got an allergic reaction beasting Hakeem Olajuwon. And I know, I know that the eyes are meant to be fire in his eyes. But you can't tell me it doesn't look like he's just had an allergic reaction to being stung by a bee. You can't tell me that this is not beasting Olajuwon. We literally got bee sting Olajuwon. Do I just discard him? Do I just discard him? Do we open another one of these packs? Because I'll open another one of these packs. There's no limit, I don't think. I'll waste all of my tokens. I don't care. It's the last week of the game. And we're going to get trolled again. Of course we are. Should have went to current gen. Like, this is a freaking troll, man. This is a troll. You know what? Robert Ory's the second best card we could have gotten. Robert Ory's the second best card we could have gotten. And you want to know what the funny thing is? At least with Robert Ory, we can go and sell our Robert Ory and buy an endgame. We can go and sell our Robert Ory and buy an endgame, buy some Invincibles. Because he's at least goes with something because he's kind of rare. Or maybe he was kind of rare. You know what? 20,000 MT, that's going to almost get me an endgame. It's going to almost get me an endgame. But like, also, I just spent 1,500 tokens on 30,000 MT. And if I had just spent 300 tokens and discarded every single ba gold badge, I would have had enough money to buy Robert Ory and... Yeah. I took my L right there. I took my L. I didn't only open one of these. I opened two of these scrub packs. And now I can't even find Robert Ory. Oh, there he is. Heroes are on the first page. Literally freaking scrub packs. And like, this is the second best card you can get. 750 tokens liquidating into 20,000 MT is the second best card you can get. Which is really bad. And Beast think Hakeem Olajuwon. Like 9,350, I don't know, I guess. Beast thing go there. But yeah, that's basically it. Don't open any of these packs tokens. This is the again, this is the best thing you can do. Is to just buy a bunch of gold badges packs. Buy a bunch of gold badges and uh, literally just start discarding. It's the quickest way. Like I've already made. Like I know it takes a while to open 40s. But like, there's no tax on discards. I know box might go for a little bit. I don't even care anymore. I don't care about MT anymore. This is the quickest way you can do it. And maybe if you get box or like brick wall. Does brick wall even go for anything because everyone has endgame cards? Nope. No badges go for anything because everyone has 80 Hall of Fame badges. Literally, this is the easiest and quickest way to make your MT. If you've got some tokens you want to liquidate and empty, do that. Don't buy these packs because they are so, so bad. And yeah, this is 2K continuing to troll us through Season 8. In the worst season in the history of my team. 
in the worst season in the history in the history of nba 2k22 my team or in history of my team oh lads this has been bad this has been bad this has been this season has been so bad the tie debo is turning into prime dbg i'm sorry this season was so bad the tie is turning into prime dbg i just don't care anymore i've dealt with this through 2k20 i've dealt with this crap through 2k21 i just don't care enough anymore to really make these round videos so anyway yeah that's the video Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.